It's, first of all, a very good question. Um, I think there is some truth to it. I think that youth are uh, certainly more prone to becoming radicalized because youth are in a phase of their lives where they are looking for answers to, to the big questions in life. And, and that's something that extremists are offering. And so youth are, are certainly prone to radicalization, but also youth are the ones who are targeted by extremists. Uh, we see that in, in how attacks are playing out, that there are attacks on, on young people, on places where young people hang out. Um, and so I think that uh, since both the problem and the people experiencing the problem are the youth, the solution is also youth. And so we need to look at how our generation, how the younger generation can, can stand up against this problem and work to challenge violent extremism. Yes, there, there is a generalization and there is a label, um, but there, there is some truth in that generalization and the label. Um, young people are, are more vulnerable to radicalization because they are, they, young people, myself including, but by nature are, are seeking, we are looking for, for these paths that our lives will take. Um, and I think that's something that can be abused by extremists when they're trying to recruit. Uh, that isn't necessarily to say that there aren't older radicals. We've seen examples of uh, extremists in their, their 50s and 60s who are equally extreme or, or worse than, than the young people, but um, there certainly seems to be a larger percentage of young people in, in the radical movements, and I think that's uh, because of our eagerness to find these answers to, to the big questions, but also because of our eagerness to actually do something. We, we want to, to change the world, we want to make the world better, and that idealism is something that extremists are good at uh, abusing. I think the first step is always to, to look at yourself, look at mm -hmm. uh, your home and, and what's going on really, and try to understand it. Try to look beyond those simple answers that are often offered. Mm -hmm. uh, look beyond those who just blame others for the problems and, and look at mm -hmm. what you can actually do to solve the problems. Um, because every society has problems. They can be economical, they can be related to education, to work, um, all these things. Um, that young people experience as problematic in their lives. And so um, I think there are, are a lot of ways in which we can take charge in our own lives to, to challenge those problems and, and to uh, help solve them without going straight to the simple answers, without going straight to, to blaming others and becoming hateful and radicalized against another group. It depends a lot on, on what the issue is and what the, the social and political context of where you are is, of course. Um, but I think um, like things that everyone can do is um, take initiative, uh, become leaders within your community, speak up, like tell the truth, tell people about the problems you have, and uh, reach out to people who can, who can help you solve them. Um, and that often means, you know, screaming at the top of your lungs at politicians and so forth. And it's infuriating and it's frustrating and it's a slow moving beast of a machinery to, to get these things sorted. But it is a process that is way more effective than violence at least. <laughs>